The total classified wood network of the Gambia is estimated at about 3,920.53 kilometers of the primary, secondary, urban and rural routes. About 818.53 kilometers of the network, of which 686 kilometers is pay function as the primary road system connecting important economic centers to gateways, seaport, airport, and border crossing and the capital city of Banjo. A lot of time is wasted by workers commuting to and front of work on the roads every day because many people find it extremely difficult to find transport and so end up being late. Traffic jam in urban Gambia is becoming a growing nightmare to commuters who travel long distance to and from work on daily basis. Commuters could attest to the worsening traffic situation, especially during rush hours. I find it very difficult to reach home from school because transportation is always a problem. The government should look at ways to help students by providing more school buses for us. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, I normally joined the school bus. But now that we are in this pandemic, I fear to use the school bus because it's always full to capacity. Transportation has become a major deal in the Gambia, seeing how people are stressed from school or from work and trying to reach back to their final destination. Since before the coronavirus pandemic, it has been very difficult to actually have a vehicle to your final destination, as most of the drivers claim that, I mean, fuel is very expensive in the Gambia. Road projects is one of the key priority projects of the OIC Gambia. There is a need to upgrade roads in order to improve traffic circulation leading to and around the south of the Kairaba Jawara International Conference Center. Twenty new urban roads will be constructed across the Greater Banjun area and the Battle Hiding Highway will be expanded to a modern dual carriage road with two lanes on each side with a pedestrian walkway. Most students are still sitting at home because they are not asked to go to school due to the um, COVID-19 regulations as to, to observe social distancing in the classroom. Because we can, but we can see how congested um, people are. So what are the differences if people are full to capacity? What can stop students from going to school to get back their lessons that they missed during the COVID-19 pandemic? It is really a challenge. I sometimes wake up at 5 a.m., sometimes even 4, to be able to catch up the bus. Because if I miss the bus, I spend so much time before I get to school. I sometimes even miss some of my lessons. The buses allocated to us by government are not enough. The demand is higher than the supply. The buses are always very congested. We suffer a lot, both going and coming home from school. This is exactly how times like this look like in the Gambia when workers and students are rushing home to prepare for the next day. Can you recall that this has been happening even before the coronavirus pandemic? A woman spoke to us detailing the challenges she faced during her journey. I am from Nyomi and I use the Barra Ferry crossing point, which is devastating. Now here I am. I can't have vehicle to go back to Brikama. Honestly, this is hard and stressful, especially when you are in a journey with children. <laughs>